We've looked at the implementation of a linked list and an array list now. We've written tests to make sure we believe they behave as they're supposed to. And now what we want to do is we want to look at the performance of these two implementations with different combinations of method calls to see why you might choose one or the other. To even see why different implementations make sense or why you might want to consider a different implementation. So let's go to Eclipse and um, take a look at what we've got there. And we're going to go ahead and create a new class, which is going to be just a timing test class. All right, and into there, I'm going to put a bunch of code that is doing timing. All right, the basic structure of this code is as follows. This one long test that we're going to run as a JUnit test will output things to the console. And you can see that we're creating three different sizes of tests. We're going to run things on a, linked li on a list of size 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000. We're going to keep track of how long it takes to do the operations on each one of those different sizes, and we're going to output those, um, that result here. Each test is going to test one particular function, so in this case we're going to test add first. We're going to create one particular implementation of our list. We're going to check what the start time is. Then we're going to go ahead and add in 1,000, sorry, 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000 items, see what the end time is, save that, and then finally print it out. We'll do that with several different methods. We'll do that with add first. We'll do that with add last. We'll do that with get. We'll do that with remove first. We'll do that with remove last. And we'll do that with size and then we'll print those guys out. And we'll talk about what's, ha what's going on there. Coverage as a JUnit test. Run them and all the results then are going to be here in our console. Let it finish running. It's still running. All right, so we see several bits of data there. Let me um, do a screen capture and see then if we can uh, make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. All right, too big. There we go. All right, so the numbers over on the left, Eclipse is behind my face here. All right, so if you look at that, on the columns we have 10,000, 20,000, and 30,000. So as we go from left to right, we're increasing the size of the list, list that we're working with. Let's look at that first pair of rows. Add first my array list and add first my linked list. I used my array list there just to clarify that this isn't the um, array list associated with Java. All right, so we can see that that 10,000 number, when we want to add something to the beginning of the list, it actually takes a little bit of time with my array list. Lots less time than with my linked list. And as you walk forward with more and more elements, you can see that each one of those calls my array list is taking more and more time while my linked list is not taking nearly as much time. Well, what's happening there? If you remember, each time that you add something to the beginning of the array list, each add first requires shifting to the right a certain amount of space. So if you'll recall, and we can, uh, let's see, create some space over here on our sketchbook. One second. Every time we wanted to add something to our, our array list, we might have some data that was currently present. We want to add something to here, and so we have to shift everything down by one till we get to the end and move it down into that spot so that we had enough space to add something here. So every time we want to add something, we have to shift something, the entire length of our array. So we have to do size amount of work every time we want to add something. And then periodically, not only do we have to shift everything down, but if we run out of space, we also have to double the size of the array and copy everything from our little array 
into our big array before we have space to add something to the end of this. So every time we add first, we actually have quite a bit of, of work to do for one, sp one specific call. Contrast that to, to a linked list. In a linked list, you have less work that you have to do. In a linked list, all of your data is linked with these arrows. And so when it comes time to add something new, you don't have to worry about shifting everything down. You just get a new piece of data and you add it into the list, setting up first to be here. And while all that memory might not end up being continuous, it doesn't matter because you have references that are just bouncing around all over the place. So in contrast to the array list, the linked list is much faster in creating the kind of um, adding first that you might otherwise want to do. Now when you add 30,000 of them, you still have to do the work of instantiating 30,000 nodes, and so that's going to take longer than instantiating 20,000 nodes, but you can see that the amount of time that it takes is considerably less than it does than it takes for my array list. Well, when you think about adding things to the end of the array list, it doesn't take as much time for the array list to do that. That's because adding things to the end of the array list doesn't require that shifting behavior that we saw previously. Adding things to the end of the array list just means that occasionally you have to double things, double the size of the array list if you happen to run out of space. But most of the time, you just add one to the end of the list, occasionally doubling. But there's no shifting involved, and that's the reason why that doesn't increase, at, doesn't take as much time at all. So you can see that adding things to the end of my array list is fast. Adding things to the beginning is slow because of the shifting behavior. You can see that it's um, doesn't take very much time to add things to the end of the linked list either. All right, what about when we want to get something from an array list? Well, getting something from an array list appears to be very fast. When we have an array of 30,000 and we want to get things from it, get 30,000 things from that list, it takes a very short amount of time because we can just use an index. But in contrast, the linked list takes quite a bit of time. And that's because whenever we want to get something from a linked list, we actually have to walk down one at a time. So we have to have a pointer here, and then we have to follow that pointer, 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 follow, 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 until we get to the element that we're looking for. Contrast that to the ability to just say element sub i, which takes you directly to the element that you're interested in in an array list. One of the big downfalls of the linked list is the fact that you have to traverse down that list in order to get the element that you want. If you want to remove the first element of an array list, well, that's the inverse of adding a first element. Every time you remove something from the beginning of the array list, you have to shift everything down. If you have a very long list, that takes a lot of time. But to remove something from the beginning of the linked list is very, very fast, because all you're doing is setting a few pointers equal to null. Again, if you want to remove something from the beginning of your array list, you have to move this element to here, this element to here, this element to here, this element to here. And if you have a long array, that takes a lot of time. But to remove something from here, all you have to do is set first equal to the element that you want to remove and chop off the previous link. It's a very fast operation, and that operation doesn't depend on how long your linked list is. How long removing the first element from an array list does depend on how long your array list is. So as a result, removing things from the beginning takes a lot of time in an array list, but is instantaneous almost in a linked list. Removing the element from the end of an array list is very fast, because all we have to do is subtract one from size and we're done. It doesn't depend on how long the array list is, we just have to subtract one from a number. Removing something from the end of a linked list is also very fast, because just like removing something from the beginning, because we have a pointer to the end of it, we can just remove it. Finally, calculating the size of an array list is very, very fast. Oh, look at that. I actually, <laughs> I actually copied it before it was done. Removing things from the, from, calculating the size of an array list is very fast, because we're keeping track of it all along. But actually, I accidentally made a mistake and copied it beforehand because it was taking so much time. Calculating the size of a linked list takes a lot of time because the only way to know the size of a linked list is to walk down the chain one at a time until you've gone through every element. So to do that for 30,000 times takes a lot of time. 
So what's the takeaway here? The takeaway is that you can have a list that's implemented in two different ways, two different technologies. Those technologies leverage different architectures in order to get different kinds of performance. So what are the kinds of things that you want to um, optimize? Do you want to optimize inserting things in your list? Well then inserting things at the beginning and the end of the list is done faster with a linked list. Do you want to optimize getting the size of an element of your array list or getting random elements from the middle of your linked list? Well then you're going to be much better off using an array list. So even though the abstract idea of, an, of a list is the same between a linked list and an array list, the kinds of things that you do, the model of it being an ordered collection of items with duplicates is the same, the performance that you get varies depending on whether you choose to instantiate your list as an array list or as a linked list. And that's the takeaway message. Thank you for your attention.